Hello everyone. So in this video I will be showing you how to have a default value for an entire column in SQL. So we will be using the default keyword here. So let me just start by creating a table. So should we create table and let DT be my table. It's fine. And let us have uh, three columns. So it should be ID, which is of int type, and name, which is of varchar, and twenty, and and the third column be salary. Okay, salary is of in type and here we will have specifying the default keyword okay so it's going to be default the value okay let me say 10,000 that's it so it's really simple this is like the basic column name and this is data type and we're just adding two extra parameters this default keyword which can be like lower case or upper case that's not going to be an issue and the particular value of that column and in case if you're adding default value to a column having var care you need to I think specify this particular default value within double quotes or single quotes so let me just run it now and we're getting a green mark so that works so now let's just insert some values so insert into our table okay our table name is dt values and let me first insert with one and name as something say, let me say john fine and i guess like you'll be getting some error okay because it's column count doesn't matching uh, value with counter no, because here we are just specifying two but I guess it worked in some other MySQL versions so in case like this particular syntax doesn't work for you what you're going to do is you're going to just go here and you're just going to specify the column name directly itself okay? so id and name that's it so we are just specifying that this particular one corresponds to id column and this particular name corresponds to this name column so if I just run it now I'll be getting a green mark which means that our two values have been inserted so let me just now go to the table and show you select asterisk from uh, dt so let me just run it now I'll be getting the default value 10,000 because uh, I haven't specified the salary here itself it's just two parameters are being passed but we automatically get the default value here add a salary manually you can just do the same as well you can just go here paste this one and here you can just remove this and you can just add your own salary okay so it will just put 2000 and we just put two and we just run it now and if i go over here i will be getting the salary okay so if you want to add salary you can add it and if you don't want you can just skip it it's absolutely your choice so this is default in sql and i also read many sql videos sql interview questions as well as many of the programming videos in c c plus java python blender so do check out this official channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching